you about Parents Night Back. A lot of you have been emailing me, asking me questions about it. The first thing is, don't worry about it. Parents come to see you are usually the parents of quote unquote the better students. If you have a child at home that you know you're going to have a bad report, you're not going to come to school to meet the, um, the teacher because God only knows what the teacher's going to say. And I'll tell you why. I don't recommend it because you get the setup, you have the procedure, and then you have to clean up afterwards. It's just not worth the work. That being said, I do recommend, and I will be putting the recipe below, you make st strawberry jam out of green tomatoes. Students love doing it, they really enjoy it, and the parents like to try a bite of it. You will notice that the parents are more interested in the strawberry jam than ask answering your questions. The things you need to remember for parent nights are the following. Number one, the parents that come are the ones who are the most involved with their students. They want to be there. You want to pass out your classroom management sheets and you want your, the parents to see what you are going to be covering this year in school. The strawberry jam, the parents like it. They get a bite to eat. And also, I don't want to say they don't stay as focused, but they don't stay as focused to bother you as far as nitpicking about each individual student. On purpose, creamy. Ooh, step up. On purpose, I brought creamy out here for this segment of the tape. This is the same as the strawberry jam. Hopefully you're still paying attention, but you're also looking at the pony. Creamy is a working girl. It's too hot today to drive her, but she's a working girl, and I'm gonna ground drive her today. Strawberry jam acts the same way in the classroom. Your parents are still gonna be paying attention, but they're going to be thinking about the strawberry jam. I also would like for you, please, I've said this before in this tape, if you have any questions, anything you'd like to know, please feel free to give a comment. I will be putting the strawberry jam recipe below. And if you'd like to see Creamy, she has a show August 22nd. We're planning on going, God willing. She just got over major cancer surgery. Let me know. By the way, this is New England. Creamy's already growing a winter coat. That's why she's so fussy. We're going to have to clip her before the show. I own the store, The Lesson Pony, on Teachers Pay Teachers. Excuse the way I'm dressed. It's a cold day in New England, even though we're in the middle of August. I'm filming this video a little bit early because a lot of my followers have been asking about Parents' Night. Here in New England, we don't start school until at least four or five weeks, and Parents' Night end at, in the middle of September. There, here's going to be a few things I'm going to tell you what you need to do for Parents' Night. Number one, don't be nervous. The parents only come if they usually have good students. If you have a child that, should I say, a little bit more challenging, the parents aren't going to come to see you. There are usually two types of Parents' Nights in the way they're set up. One, they, you have the entire class and you give a brief lecture on what you're doing. Be ready with your with your class curriculum and be ready to go. Explain briefly what you're doing and what your class expectations are. The second is if you're meeting each parent individually. I find this is a little bit more difficult because you need to have your grade book ready and you need to be able to explain what each child is. What I always recommend is on the board, you put a great big apple tree with apples on it. On each apple, you have something you need for the classroom. Ask the parents to take it, take one apple, and if they could donate to the class. They usually don't mind doing it, and if they do take an apple, usually you'll get it back. Another thing to keep in mind is where you park. Get to school early so that you can find a parking space so you can get out fast. Also, have somebody at home call you 10 minutes after parents' night ends. That way, you're not stuck there all night talking to parents for 45 minutes. The phone rings saying, sorry, I have to get going home. If you like this video, please hit like. If you have any questions regarding parents night, please let me know. Thank you for viewing. Something else I forgot to tell you. When the parents come in, make sure that you have them sign in. You can get their emails and their phone numbers too. 
the next day or within a week, send each parent a handwritten thank you note. This might sound like a lot of work. You don't have to write a long thing, but just write something. Thank you very much for attending. The reason being is it's old school, but the parents really like it a lot. Thank you.